Now let's learn about particle systems animation. We will build animations that involve particles moving and interacting according to physics rules. By simulating particle behavior, including velocity, acceleration, and collision detection, you can create effects such as rain, fire, smoke, or explosions. To get started, create a new project and import Dart Math for the necessary math calculations. Next, set the canvas color to black. Implement the single ticker provider state mixin mixin in your widget class. This mixin is used to provide a ticker for the animation controller so that it can run animation smoothly. Declare an animation controller variable in your widget class. Create a class for the particles, which will represent the visual and behavioral aspects of each particle. Declare offset variables for the particle's position and velocity. Create a constructor for the particle class. Implement an update function to update the position and velocity of the particles based on physics calculations. Declare a list to hold the particles in your widget class. In the init state method, Initialize the animation controller with a duration of 15 seconds. Generate the particle list using the list.generate function. This function allows you to create a list of particles with random positions and velocities. Now, let's explain the code related to random position and velocity generation. In this code, random.nextDouble generates a random floating point number between 0.0 .0 inclusive, and 1.0, exclusive. The asterisk 200 scales this random value to be between 0.0, .0 and 200.0. The subsequent 100 shifts the range to be between minus 100.0 and 100.0. This generates random values for both the x and y components of the position and velocity. Next, add a listener to the animation controller. Within this listener, calculate the time difference, dt, between the current value of the animation controller and a clamped value. This calculation is done to ensure that the animation runs smoothly even if the frame rate fluctuates. The calculated dt value can be used to update the position and velocity of the particles accordingly. Inside the empty function of setState you can include code to update the state variables of the widget and trigger a rebuild of the user interface. In this particular example, there is no additional logic to be executed when triggering the rebuild. Call controller.repeat to start the animation loop. Don't forget to dispose of the animation controller in the dispose method to release any allocated resources. Next, create a new class called particle painter that extends custom painter. Custom Painter is a class that allows you to define custom painting behavior for a specific widget. It is used to create custom graphics and visuals by defining the appearance of a widget's canvas during the painting process. In the Particle Painter class, declare a list to hold the particles and create a constructor. Override the Paint method, which defines how to paint the custom visuals on the canvas. In this case, create a paint object and set its color property to colors.orangeaccent. Use the draw circle method provided by the canvas class to draw each particle as a circle shape on the canvas. Specify the position of each particle and the desired radius. Set the paint property to the previously created paint object to define the appearance of the circle. The should repaint method is typically overridden within a custom painter class. It determines whether the custom painter should repaint the canvas based on changes in the widget or the custom painter's properties. Finally, add the custom paint widget as the body of your widget class. This allows you to integrate the custom painting within your Flutter UI. The custom paint widget takes a custom painter object as its painter property and provides a canvas for the custom painter to draw on. 
With the Particle Painter class and the Custom Paint widget, you can create a physics-based particle system animation in Flutter. The particles' positions and velocities are updated on each animation frame, and the visuals are rendered on the canvas. The animation is driven by the animation controller, which updates the particles' positions and velocities using the provided listener. Thank you for watching.